Over the past four years shooting Fujifilm, I have been looking for a lens that would help me create the kind of images that I thrive for, that would help me create better stories and develop my own style. But I would never have imagined that this would be the lens to help me do so. Four years ago during COVID, I decided to sell all my MTG cards and dive into the world of photography. I chose Fujifilm for the tactile feel that it gave me, as I was looking to take my time, feel and experience more of the world around me with photography and videography. And I did, through travels, portraits and small gigs here and there, a lot of research and through this YouTube channel as well. I have worked hard and developed my skills to be able to achieve good results with my camera. But coming from an engineering background, one of my main strengths also proved to be my main weakness. I always thrive for technical perfection. Perfect settings, perfect sharpness, perfect exposure. Those things come easy to me, but without style, without story, your photo and video can kind of feel empty. And this is when I hit a wall. I spent money buying the best lenses that I could get, believing that the best lenses would get me the best results. And yes, my pictures did look better in a sense. They were sharper and perfectly in focus, but there was still something that I missed. So over the past month, I have really tried to get away from settings, specs, and perfection to focus more on stories, imperfections, and character. I wanted to go back to the root of why I started this journey. Taking my time to create images with that tactile feeling. And that's when I decided to contact filmmakers, DPs and other photographers that I know. And all of them pretty much told me the same thing. If you want character, try vintage. After hours of research, exploring shops, discussing with people, I stumbled across this $90 lens the Super Takumar 50mm f1.4. As this was a pretty small investment compared to the previous lenses that I already bought and sold and rebought to resell later, I decided to try it out. At first, manual focusing was a challenge, especially in some situations where my subjects were always moving. But at the same time, I reminded myself that this is what I wanted. This is why I was there. To take my time and to explore the limitations and character of the lens and to make it mine. Over time, after struggling to make this lens work, the magic started to happen. I started to finally get used to it, to get used of its creamy look wide open, to its distinctive bokeh. The flare was also something that I had to pay attention with this lens. But at the same time, that was something that I could play with and enjoy. All of these were things that I could use in my images and use in the stories that I wanted to tell. I decided to take this lens to a paid shoot. However, I was still stressed on whether or not I could make it work. Will I be able to hit focus? Will the client be happy with the non-perfect look? Am I ready to move away from the native autofocus Fuji lenses that I have been using for so long? Tons of questions popped in my head. But I did try it. And the images that I got exceeded both my and the client's expectations. They were exactly what I wanted what I envisioned. Imperfect, but with a little something more. Some of them were in focus, others weren't, but that didn't matter. I finally created images that I took time and that told a story to me. And I'm not saying that I have now mastered this lens, 
that I know all of its limitation, all of its characteristic and exactly how to use it. What I know though is that I want to explore those characteristics, those imperfections, even though I still have a long way to go. I want to make those part of my style. I want to see how I can use them in my photos and my videos. And ultimately, that is the goal. To be inspired to tell stories that can inspire others. And this lens helps me do exactly that.